Hello, this is a quick demonstration on the importance of the first rule in your snake file. So what I mean by that is I'm going to make a very basic snake file Oh, hello. And this is just going to output an empty hello.txt file uh, and touch output. And then if I do snake make cause one. So normally, uh, until now, I've been specifying the the output file that I want from this snake uh, snake file, but I don't necessarily have to specify the output. So without the the specific output, I can just specify that I want to run this snake uh, snake make file and then it runs to create this output file for me. So what SnakeMake does is, if you don't specify an output or rule name, you can also specify rule name, like hello, because of this. So you can, if you don't specify anything, SnakeMake assumes that you want the output of the first file, uh, first output in your first rule, the topmost rule in your snake file. So say I'm going to, if I, if I try to run this again, because the file already exists, it says there's nothing to, do, nothing to be done. I'm going to delete hello.txt and then I'm going to make another rule on top. So a second, and this is going to output another just empty text file, a touch and then output. If I run this without specifying the output, now because this rule is on top of this, is above it, this output is going to be created if I run this. You see how second.txt is created now. Right, so this is how uh, SnakeMake behaves if you don't specify the particular output you want. So the use of this is, for instance, I like to, so in my pipelines, what I like to do is say, I'm running a analysis in parallel. Maybe I'm running like tens of thousands of regression analysis. What I, what I like to do is I want to, after each of the, the analysis has been completed, I want to compile everything into a single file so I can just read in one single file and analyze the results, for instance. So say analyze, uh, I'm going to say uh, prefix.txt and then this is going to be shell echo uh, wild, wild cards dot prefix and then this is just going to create this output and then this takes in an input, which I'll specify later, but this is going to be all results.txt, and then say cat all of the inputs into this now. Let's do that. I'm going to quickly specify a couple of things. So let's make config file. And then let's, I'm just going to delete this for now. I'm going to make a config file. This is to sort of mimic the analysis procedure, the workflow. So here I would do um, input files, input um, samples. And then this is going to be a list of say sample A, sample B, and then sample C. This is a list and then here I'm going to this should be text. And 
this is input samples. So I'm doing this. So I'm taking this variable and passing it into this rule. So what this should do is you know what, I'm going to remove that. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that into uh, input list. And then this is going to be a sample in config input samples. And then this, I'm just going to do sample dot text. So here, that's done, and this is going in here. Now, if I run this, what this is going to do is this config file is going to be read. This Python code is going to be executed, which is a list comprehension of these samples. So it's just adding dot text to the end of the all of these. So if I give this as an input to the all rule, uh, to generate this output, it needs to have all of these inputs, which is samples A, B, and C dot text files. And to make those outputs, uh, this rule is going to be executed where each file, so three files are going to be made where the contents of the file is just going to be the sample ID of the of the text file. So if I run that and I'm not specific I'm not going to specify the output I want because I want to run the all rule. So if I run that, four files should be made. Eleven prefix I have a I have a typo here, and I rerun that. So three files have been made, and one file that contains all of it. So this is this is to have a very small sort of example of how you would make pipelines. So, for instance, you might have tens of thousands of samples that you run uh, an analysis of of your choice for each individual, for each sample, and then you want to uh, compile all of the results into one file. So this is the kind of way you would do it. And to simplify the running of things, you'd, instead of specifying an output, because sometimes you're making a pipeline for other users to use and the other users might not be uh, too familiar with your snake file that, you, that they would need to specify a particular name, named output. Instead, what you can do is just utilize this behavior of SnakeMake to to output a to to run the Snake file that you want the users to run without specifying the output. So it runs all of your your jobs, and the user would just need to you know modify the configuration files as documented by yourself. So. Uh, just to quickly note about this behavior, so this is just uh, Python's built-in function uh, functionality, the list comprehension. So there is this expand function. There's this expand function that's provided if you run this snake file, which does something similar. It's slightly different, but similar, but but um, you can look into using that function. I'm, I'll probably give an example of this later in another video. Okay, thank you.